If I asked you who your favorite pony out of the main six is, who would you say? Rarity? Pinky? If you have bad opinions, maybe even Twilight or Fluttershy. Well, my favorite is Red Dash. Oh, you don't know who Red Dash is? Well, here she is. Okay, yeah, I know that this is supposed to be Rainbow Dash, but I don't see too many rainbows going on here at all. It's almost as if whoever designed this forgot approximately 63.64% of her name. I get that every toy in the series has single colored mains, and it does work for these four and maybe Twilight, but this Red Dash just looks kind of, you know, not good. In fact, this entire series just raises a bunch of questions. Aside from the main six, there are four more figures and none of them make any sense in particular. Sunset Shimmer got the Rainbow Dash treatment and has plain red hair now instead of her bacon hair. Or ketchup and mustard hair if you prefer that. Then we have Gusty, who is apparently a character from Generation 1 that they arbitrarily made a toy of for some reason. I see that she was at least mentioned in G4, assuming this is the same Gusty. The self-righteous Gusty the Great. But like, who's gonna get this from this? Then from the same series, we have Fizzle Shake who, from what I could gather, isn't even an actual character. She seems to be based off an older character as well, but, you know, this is kind of random. Anyways, uh, finally, we have... Okay, apparently this is supposed to be Princess Cadence, but I refuse to refer to this as such. I would rather accept Queen Chrysalis as being Princess Cadence before I even consider this thing being her. Okay, at least this one looks better. Actually, maybe I was too harsh on the other one. This one looks exactly like the thing that chases me through a dark hallway in my recurring nightmares. On the topic of Princess Cadence toys, let's take a look at this one. Do you notice something off? I mean, besides like everything else. Yeah, where are her wings? This comes from this set where Princess Luna also doesn't have wings. And you could say, well, it's because they're wearing clothes, so it'll be hard to have wings. But if you look at Princess Celestia in the exact same set, she's wearing something and she still has wings. And it's even worse because Princess Cadence and Princess Celestia are literal recolors. Well, for some reason, they didn't give Cadence wings. Moving on. Do you remember Coconut Cream? Yeah, well, me neither. But this blind big minifigure of her sure looks different from how she appears in the show. Let's just deduct points from 10 for every error on this. First of all, the eye color couldn't be farther from the show design. Secondly, her hair color scheme is completely different. Thirdly, I'm no expert on equine animals at all, but I have just a slight tiny hunch that the show version is a kid, whereas the toy version is not. Now you might be thinking, if you're knowledgeable in Generation 3, that it's modeled after the G3 coconut cream. Well, even if that were the case, the eye color is still different, plus the cutie mark is also different. That leaves us with the final score of 5 out of 10, which isn't terrible. In all honesty, this toy isn't too bad. At least you can probably still tell that this is coconut cream. Now, just to end this item off, it has come to my attention that the eye and top mane is actually more similar to coconut cream's friend Tula Rula. Or maybe you even think that this kind of looks like Blossom Forth. I mean, it kind of looks more like Blossom Forth than the actual Blossom Forth toy. It's weird how Blossom Forth's card actually has normal hair colors where the toy version doesn't. Okay, but anyways, that's enough of Blossom Forth. Wait, we were talking about Blossom Forth, right? While I was looking through comments just to see if any of you guys had any cool recommendations, I saw this. Yeah, I once saw a MLP Christmas ornament, a Fluttershy, but instead of Fluttershy's cutie mark, it had Pinkie Pies. So then I thought, okay, no, there's no way that this is real, right? And then I looked it up, and then I saw this. I actually know a couple people who look like this. Anyways, if you look at the cutie mark, yeah, yeah, this is, this is terrible. I'm not sure if this is a one-time error or if there were a bunch of Fluttershy's printed like this, but it's kind of weird how the eBay listing listed off as yellow Pinkie Pie rather than, you know, Fluttershy. But then this got me into a rabbit hole of other My Little Pony Christmas ornaments. Like, look at this one, which, uh, I mean, sure, it looks fine, but then the color's, like, really off. And then let's look at this one. Why are her eyes like that? And also, look at this one. Why does she look like that? And what's with this cutie mark? It's literally just three dots. And most horrendously, let's look at this one. Forget what I said about that Princess Cadence from earlier being creepy, because this is gonna replace her in my nightmares. Ironically, the best-looking Christmas ornament is this one of Dr. Hooves, which is so random that they even made one of Dr. Hoofs because it's such a niche character. But at the same time, I don't know why this one is the one that looks the most accurate to anything out of, you know, like the actual main characters. Okay, let's play a game. Who is this pony over here? You probably thought it was just like some toy exclusive character because there's a couple of those. More than a couple, actually. But no, it's actually supposed to be Junebug. Do I have any idea who Junebug is? Not really, but does she look like this? Not really. It seems as if this toy was supposed to be like the G3 version of Junebug, but like they got the cutie mark kind of correct or as correct as you can get on this, but the hair is still different. But I don't know, maybe this is just an example of like not being based on a G4 character. But I'll be honest with you, when I first saw this, I thought this was supposed to be Lily Valley. 
you know, because of the hair color, the body color, and like the flower-related cutie mark. But then I thought, okay, how, how does Lily Valley's toy look like? And then I found out this is how it looks like. Why is she randomly a Pegasus here? I mean, you could say that it was for the hair. They just wanted Rainbow Dash's hair. But except if you look at the Applejack model, it's literally the exact same hair, except you won't have wings with this, so it'd be accurate. I'm just at a loss for words. I don't even know what to say anymore. Okay, so for the next item, uh, I wanted to go a little meta and actually talk about the toys themselves rather than a specific character. I guess this isn't really an inaccuracy, it's just more of an inconsistency, but whatever. I couldn't help but notice that on some toy packagings, the character names are like weird and different. Like for example, Daring Do in some toy packaging, she's called Daring Do Dazzle. Same with Mrs. Cupcake. For some reason, she's called Mrs. Dazzle Cake. Diamond Tiara is known as Diamond Dazzle Tiara. But I really have to ask, do you actually know what Dazzle means? means yeah well uh, me neither so let's look it up dazzle of a bright light blind a person temporarily brightness that confuses someone's vision temporarily what uh, that's not exactly a positive definition i don't know why they're trying to sneak this word into every character unless if you want to argue that they're secret relatives of a dodgio dazzle but let's not get into that right now we'll save that for the theory videos another example of this would be how snails is called snail squirm in some merchandise and snips is called snipsy snap twist is called twistaloo surrey polymer is sometimes called button bell for some reason i know that coco pamel was renamed to miss pamel because the character is a parody on coco chanel i think that's how you pronounce it and i guess they got into legal trouble because of that but i doubt that copyright and legal issues is the reason why snails was renamed to snails corp that just doesn't really make any sense i don't know if any of you guys have any insight into this uh, please let me know down in the comments because i'm genuinely curious as per tradition with this inaccurate toy series we need at least one obligatory equestria girls mention and honestly i saved this item for last because it might actually be the most inaccurate thing in existence I'm sure that I'll make more parts of the series if y'all want after, but I, I can't really promise that there will be anything that tops this. Of course I want you to actually see this, and I'm pretty sure you're just sitting there being all like, F, dude, j just get to it already, stop stalling! But I really do have to give this warning first. Sure, we went through some really confusing and sometimes creepy toys, but this item here just just made my soul uncomfortable when I first saw it and it still continues to haunt me to this day But quickly before we get to it, it looks like we're gonna hit 10k subs soon So I think I'm planning on doing an AMA video So if you have any questions about me or who I am or whatever this channel is supposed to be Feel free to put them down in the comments You can ask one question, you can ask a billion questions and Actually, probably not a billion questions But if you do have multiple questions, feel free to ask Make sure to like put hashtag ask F anything at the end of your comments so that I can find find it easier. You don't have to, but it'll just make my job way easier, so yeah. Anyways, without further ado, the greatest inaccurate My Little Pony toy of all time, they somehow managed to make Sunset Shimmer unattractive. 